Ugh, turn that excitement down a notch, would ya? Ugh, what the... And who are you, anyway? Nice to meet you, chap. My name is... Wait. I am... I... Who am I? Oh, no. No, 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 no. This can't be happening. I don't even recall this place. Am I in a freaking forest? And what the hell am I doing in a crashed spaceship? If I am something like a fancy astronaut, I seem to really suck at it. All right. Breathe. There is an explanation for everything. So, one thing after the other. Where the heck are we, little guy? The garden? Whose garden, exactly? Cell? Just X-E-L? It doesn't ring a bell, but it seems you know what you're talking about. All right, little buddy. Let's check out this garden and look for that mysterious cell person. Let's hope they have the tools to remove this rock that hurts like hell out of my face. To be honest, this place is really beautiful, in a weird and kind of creepy way. Well, this button looks pretty punchy. Boom! No death trap? I'm almost a little bummed out right now. Yuck. Yuck, 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 yuck! Why is this so warm? Why is there so much tech in a forest? Looks easy to break, but not with bare hands. I can't reach the ladder from here. Seems like I need to find another way for now.
This is no forest. Storage for what? Why do I even ask? much better. It looks pretty when it's fixed. What does this pillar do exactly, chap? Chronal energy distributing it? What does this even mean? Hey! Why is it shooting at me? I don't care who it thinks I am. shiny thing up ahead. Let's check it out.
so much trash. Another man's trash is this gal's way to kick some ass. taking this way now I have a bad feeling about this place There goes our hope to find a human in this place. I hope it's okay if I borrow this from you for a bit. This should give us some protection against lasers and other crap they throw at us.
Recognize this place. Let's check out what's changed.
Let's hope this will finally get us out of this junkyard. And bam! Come on. There's nothing to turn around. What the? Okay, Sleeping Beauty. You wanna dance? Let's dance. Let's hope this will finally get us out of this junkyard. And... Okay, Sleeping Beauty. You wanna dance? Let's dance.
Let's hope this will finally get us out of this. Okay, Sleeping Beauty. You wanna dance? Let's dance. Let's hope this will finally get us out of this. Okay, Sleeping Beauty. You wanna dance? Let's dance. Let's hope this will finally... Okay, Sleeping Beauty. You wanna dance? Let's dance. Let's hope this will finally get us out of the Okay, Sleeping Beauty. You wanna dance? Let's dance.
bad. <gasps> Whoa, keep it cool. I almost just got fried to a crisp by this gigantic and stupid overwatcher. Overseer, and you show up all cloaky dokey with this way too relaxed attitude. So, no, mister, I will not keep it cool. All right, I get it. I'm sorry. So, you're not with them? Them? Dude, I don't even know where I am or who I am. Wait, you. You came down with that ship, right? More like I came crashing down in it, yeah. Are you, Xel? Follow me. Hey, wait up! We should leave this place. It it's not safe. Thanks for making that clear. I thought the killer robots were kind of a dead giveaway. They are not our biggest problem. Cool. Can't wait to see what's going to try to kill me next. Thanks for the help, by the way. Back there with that overseer. I didn't do anything. Exactly. Hey, you seem to be able to handle yourself just fine. Yeah, because I have to. So you don't know who you are? Nope, all blank. You remind me of someone I knew who was very much like you. How about I read? Sure. Just Desmond. Hey, you guys choose your name as well. All right, go ahead. Now my head is already filled with your actual name. At least something's in there now. But rude. trying to lighten the mood between all this fighting robots business. This, this is Needle Eye, home of the survivors. It's, wow. Wait till you see it from the inside. So there are more humans after all. I'm sorry if they seem unwelcoming. We don't have the best experiences dealing with outsiders. Outsiders? 
So that's what you meant when you asked me if I'm with them. Don't you need, like, more proof or something to show that I'm not with those outsiders? No, you're good. How can you be so sure? If you ever meet them, you'll know why. Here we are. This elevator takes us right into the heart of Needle Eye. It's gonna be a long ride, so I'm gonna be ready. Press the button, and I'll be waiting right here for you. Okay, I played your game long enough. What is happening here? And who is Cell? If you're looking at it. Wait, you are Cell? No, all of this is Cell. Please, don't go full meta on me. I might not be able to remember a lot from my life, but I have a feeling that I am not a particularly spiritual person. No, I mean, look out of the window. Cell is not a person. It's a space arc. What? Almost 100 years ago, our people had to leave their home planet. Our planet became uninhabitable and a small amount of the population was sent out to look for a new home. So we are traveling through space right now? Actually, we're not. The Ark stopped functioning properly decades ago. Before I was even born. Wait, so you and your people are living on a stranded spaceship that is floating in space right now? You could say so, yes. This might be the reason why you crashed into the Ark. Although, I never heard the Elder mentioning anything about space colonies that far out. Do you remember what your home looked like? No, and I don't know if it's the crash, or if this piece of rock stuck in my forehead is messing with my brain. I'm sure the Elder knows a way to help you out. This Elder dude sure sounds like the big cheese of this place. Yeah, he's actually the last person alive to witness the launch of the Ark. Is that guy a blood-sucking undead, or are you keeping him in a jar? How is he still alive? No, none of that creepy stuff. Time works differently here, and maybe he just has some good genes. You have good genes, that's for sure. I'm sorry, what was that? Nothing. Here we are. Needle Eye, the safe haven of Xel. This place looks really lovely. I like the handcrafted style. This used to be the amusement district for the worker class on the Xel. Workers? So there was a hierarchy on this arc. Yeah, the Elder can tell you more about this. When I was born, there were only us survivors here in Needle Eye, and the others out there. Well, every answer you give just raises more questions. How original. I'm really sorry. This must be so much to take in. Let's head to the Elder right away to clear things up. Why don't you go ahead and I'll just check this place out on my own. On my own with my buddy chap here. Are you sure? This place is pretty big. Just tell me where we should meet. The Elder's Hut is at the top of the city. You can't miss it. If you get lost, ask around. Just tell them you're with me. Got it. See you, Daz. Don't let me wait too long. If you're looking for Desmond, he's either exploring the Excel or at his dojo practicing and teaching. Starving, but at the same time, I can't stand the food we get anymore. Vixel's garden is providing us with juicy fruits, healthy vegetables, and even some meat. But you can only eat so many Marzen steaks in your lifetime. 
before it all tastes B-O-R-I-N-G. I heard there's a weird looking creature living near the wilds who can teach you super tasty recipes. Always bring Shell the trash I find. And each time, she manages to create something magnificent out of it. She is. Welp, here I am, indeed. Uh, Desmond. <laughs> Couldn't stop talking about. Welcome to Needle Eye, child. Um, hi, Mr. Elder. Sir? Oh, please. You can call me Esgari. Esgari. I don't want to come off like an ass, but... This feels like a cult. Is this a cult? Uh, call it whatever you want. But you are welcome here. Uh, Desmond found you and your robotic friend in the abandoned district of the Garden, I heard. Chap found me in a crashed spaceship, but I don't know how I got there. She has no recollection of who she is or even where she comes from, boss. Hey! This is kind of personal info, and you've just spilled it all in front of your cult. I think it's important to share that piece of information. And this is not a cult. That's something someone in a cult would say. Ah, memory loss. Hmm. Might be a side effect of a hyperspace jump. You must have traveled quite the distance. As I said, I wouldn't know. But I have a question for you, old man. I'm eager to quench your thirst for knowledge. Right. So these crystal pillar thingies on your ship, that emit chronal... Yes, that whole spiel. They give me major headaches. And I think they're connected to the stone stuck in my face. Hmm. What a curious person you are. Is it true that you defeated an overseer? I'm not one to brag, but yeah, I did, and I have the burns to prove it. We might actually be able to help you. And by helping you, you might help us in our direst hour. Mm, this sounds overly dramatic. I love it. I'm in. I told you, she's the person we needed. As you see, we were able to establish a society here 
that is self-sustainable and uses what the station has to offer. But the engine that keeps everything running is starting to overheat. Mm, this is causing harm to the very fragile artificial ecosystem that we need to survive. I don't know if I'm much of a fixer-upper, but I sure can whack things. Don't worry about the fixing part. Hmm? You will be responsible for the slice and dice part on this mission anyway. What is the mission, and who is that woman? I like her style. Call me Cheryl. I'm the fixer-upper of this place. Nice to meet you guys. You can call me... Reed, I suppose. And that's Chap. What Elder Ascari is trying to say is that this arc is about to heat up to a level where we either combust spontaneously or blow up. Both scenarios are suboptimal. We need to cool down the engine floor ASAP. When you're ready for quite the adventure, meet me at my workshop. I'll head out to secure the area surrounding the wilds. Like you secured me back then with that overseer? Hey, come on. Uh, good luck, children. The fate of Cell lies on your shoulders. I see. No pressure. When you're ready for quite the adventure, meet me at my workshop. Thanks for helping us out. You just landed here and now you're all wrapped up in this mess. I feel kind of shitty about this. Please don't. I'm not keen on getting blown up as well, and I have nothing else planned for the next few days anyway, as far as I can remember. So... I like your attitude. You fit right into our crowd. So, are you ready for the mission briefing? Give me the tea, girl. So, we have to cool down the engine floor. Therefore, we need to redirect the cooling system to it. Years ago, the cooling system was routed towards the science station. What for? Actually, no one knows. Even Elder Ascari is clueless for once. The last time we sent someone there to investigate, she never came back. Uh, let me guess. I should try my luck next. You will not go alone. Des is going as well, and you will be his backup. At least we won't die alone. That won't happen. I can assure you of that. How can you be so sure about this? Because the last expedition didn't have me to craft gear and gadgets. Fair enough. When are we heading to the science station? Not directly. The science station is not accessible due to the damage in the area leading up to it. That's why you'll need to visit the wilds first and get something from me. The wilds? Oh, that doesn't sound as inviting as the garden. It is indeed extremely dangerous and full of wild animals that will try to rip you to shreds. Okay, cool. Before the incident, the place was a habitat for different species. They installed a robot there that took care of the flora and fauna. I need you to find that robot and get me its Biosynth Silk Dispenser. Biosync Silk Pencil what? You will know what I mean once you see the robot. Once you bring me the dispenser, I'll be able to build you something super cool to traverse gaps and do other cool stunts as well. And save Xel and its people. Yeah, and that. You'll get to Desmond if you go through the gate near the elevator exit after leaving Needle Eye. Okay, give me a moment. Recap time. Go back to the garden and find Des behind the gate. Get into the deadly wilds. Find the robot there, get its dispenser thing, bring it back to you. I do some DIY magic. You get a thing that gives you access to other parts of the cell. 
I go into the science station, cool things down, save the day. Everyone lives! Happy people everywhere. We make out. Fireworks. Boom. Consider it done. And if you find some junk on your way, feel free to bring it to me, and I'll see if I can upgrade your gear. Gotcha. See ya. Come back in one piece. What have you got there? Good luck out there. Thank you. 